What's up, everyone? I wanted to make less videos, but I also wanted to do this one because apparently I said corn with the P, and I got tagged as, like, some bullshit, so whatever. The only thing I got to think, look, again, I cannot explain how much more. It really does just seem like what they do with not just K-pop bitches, but, like, all kinds of artists, because if it's, like, the Rick Ross studio... And you've got Meek Mill getting pimped. Like, I mean, until Tiffany clears it up, I'm still going to assume you're a douchebag. you got Meek Mill getting pimped out to these fucking like, Dubai douches wearing a skirt and all that bullshit. And like, it seems like they were like leading up to like handing that stupid fucking rap or off to Rick Ross for that shitty video. Again, I keep on telling you. And then I paid some kind of bill of hers off or whatever the fuck. Even that if that was the case, because like she she refuses to say specifically what she did with it, just that it's gone and that we should forget about it. And then she has a thirty thousand dollar dress. So that's how I'm telling you. It's like she she owed someone money probably and just like kept the rest of it. Because like so cunty. Anyways. It's it's. I cannot begin to describe to you how much the money is not important. It's the the handling of the money is so stupid. The 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 she really lit, she literally thinks she is the investment. You don't understand. She thinks to herself, well, if I get these ballerina classes and I get this thirty thousand dollar dress and the Moschino endorsement, that's an investment. In what? In Tiffany, obviously, I don't see it that way. Like, not at all. Like, I see it as, like, you stealing money. That's how I see it. No. And, like, you don't have to understand something. Like, Jusica, I think you're hot. Like, if, if, if I was to end up with a bitch like Jusica, I would consider that to be an upgrade, because that bitch is 26, not 36. Anyways, and she hasn't been pimped out a bunch of rap douches. Or attempted to. But I'm not going to join Coffee Bagel. Tiff Tiffany was stocking me on Coffee Bagel also. Kelsey Korean said that Coffee Bagel is where the, all the hot Asian bitches go to. But then you still got to do all that global settings and all that bullshit. And like, the, the problem really is just in this area. There's just like not as many hot bitches as like LA and shit like that. But then in LA, everyone is fucking crazy as shit. So the best thing to do would just be to amass massive amounts of wealth and then when a bitch is ready to take her up on it. And that way, when it's like you got to sign this prenup and all that bullshit, she's more inclined to do that bullshit. It just seems more better to put the energy into me than into like. But the, 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 the thing I'm saying is like. Probably though, like don't take this the wrong way. Fuck yeah, I would use I would I would use Coffee Bagel and Jusica all night long. It's just I, I only know who you are because you did some thingy with Espa and Katrina or whatever the fuck it was. So um, I'm not probably gonna do anything for another year. I'm just gonna stack resources and then 2025 I'll start going to, or whenever I I decide to, I'll start going to uh, I'll start going to like blockchain events and all that shit and hit on the Asian bitches like. In all honesty, because I thought, I really thought Tiffany Wang was like a pipe dream. I thought she was like a Hail Mary, gotta eat your Flutie Flakes, she's off in like Korea doing Korea shit, right? I didn't know she was stalking me. So, uh, uh, that whoever that bitch was, who is part of Theta, that Dovey Wan, whatever it was, like, I, I'm not even gonna lie. Kind of the only reason why I activated my Tinder in the first place was because I thought she was cute. It's like, oh, you're on, you're on Tinder. Fuck. I mean, th that there's a chance, right? Because like she seemed more like attainable than Tiffany Wang. I didn't realize she was stalking me and all that bullshit. So it just seems like retarded. Like, why are you doing all this retarded bullshit? And then, by the way, then I'm pretty sure it was Tiffany made a bunch of Dove Dovey Wan, whatever the fuck her name is, burner accounts, and like spammed me with them. Like, so much so that like. I actually reached out to the real Dovey Wan and was like, look, at first I thought it was you, so I was trying to sweet talk them, but I found out you've got like someone trying to impersonate you a lot. And she actually was like, thanks for letting me know. This is actually serious. I'll let everyone know not to accept any of this bullshit. That's what I mean, like, when Tiffany, like, like, 
And to be quite honest, like if I hadn't thought someone was trying to like harvest my organs because all the Tiffany bullshit, I probably would have tried to like segue that into like actually, you know, hitting on WN. But I was like, this is some serious shit going on. Uh, this, I'm so off topic. Look. Bitches will let you know when they're ready is what I'm saying. But that's not, that's not what this is about. If you would have just said, and by the way, in my opinion, if Jusica is even into me, it's more like because she's like, oh, I can steal the the Tiffany shit. This is why I hate social media. Anyways, um, look. In regular math, not in girl math, in regular math, okay, the investment is the investment the expense is the expense. Okay, Tiffany Tiffany doesn't want to understand this, but she's the expense. Okay? In reality, Tiffany's the expense. Okay? My hair is my, I have to get my hair cut. Like pretty much like the first warm day, because I have a pair, hopefully it's all just I have a weak battery. The first warm day I am turning my car on, I'm taking it to you know, advanced auto, getting the battery changed on the way to the dealership to get the fucking brakes verified it's just an electrical issue, and then thank fucking God, right? Anyways, then I'm probably going to start boxing again, because what did I do when I had a million dollars? Liquid. Liquid. Not just, I technically have a m million dollars still, I just got to like go here and do that and all that bullshit, but like, you know, when I was liquid for, for one million dollars, what was I doing? I was driving my Acura to the boxing gym and beating the shit out of those same 15 bags, one every one every round. That way it's like a different opponent. And then I was jumping rope in the ring to visualize and all that bullshit. Back when I was like 17, 18 and all that bullshit. Anyways, um... So, do you ever, do you ever just like... It's gonna sound funny, it's like... See, I don't want people to, like, start thinking weird things, but, like, do you ever miss, like, getting punched? Not, like, I'm not saying, hey, someone punched me in the face, but I'm, like, do you ever, like, you ever, like, do one of those things where you're, like, oh, I can't quite seem to get it to work, and then all of a sudden you get, you get socked right in the chin, and you're, like, pop, 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 and it all just connects. Something happens when, like, that, 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 that adrenaline surge happens, and you're just, like, boom. Anyways, but yeah, I was going to the boxing gym like five days a week. I had a million dollars and I was just going boxing. No one even knew about it. I was talking with like the coach about it. That was it. How can we put on more fights? I don't give a shit about this fucking rap bullshit. Again, one of the kids who stopped coming, by the way, um, I stopped coming for like a year, so it's, it's what happens. But um, brought in a Rick Ross CD. The only reason why I even know that any of that bullshit. I don't give a fuck about any of that bullshit. All right? Tell you what, I'm going to tell him to turn that shit off now, but, um, which I should have done in the first place. But, uh, look. The expense is the expense. So, you spending money is the expense. You making music is the expense. Okay? Okay? You doing all this bullshit is the expense. All right? The investment is what you, 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 you... The investment is the crypto, the Forex, blah, 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 right? Then you have to set a specific target. Okay, you want to do a music video. Knowing Tiffany, she said she needs 100000 Well, you know, she said she needed 80000 She ended up wanting, she ended up getting 100000 and wanting 200000 Anyways, so uh, uh, you want $100,000. Let's plan for 120. dollars all right, just because it's Tiffany. Let's take the investment and put the investment to work then when the investment occurs we will then spend some of that the expense would be your ballerina classes your ballerina shoes your thirty thousand fucking dollar dress your your doilies your toenaily thingies the uh, fucking bindies you put on your eyes and all that bullshit that's the expense. That's just the, that's the the, the, the like the, the most annoying part about it all is when she's like, no, that's the investment. That's that's the expense. 
And if someone's willing to spend, again, the whole point of a trophy, like you don't, you don't buy a trophy because you're trying to save. You buy a trophy because you want to kind of, you're willing to spend a little bit extra, right? That's why you get the Rolls Royce. You know it's going to be a pain in the ass when you get a flat tire, but you're going to get it anyways, right? Because it's a Rolls Royce, right? So if someone wants to pay the expense, why are you giving them shit about it? It's like the... Your ballerina shoes are the expense, not the investment. Okay? That's just what it is. Have a nice day.